Do you know who Maui is? Only the greatest demigod in all the Pacific Islands. With his magical fish hook, he slowed down the sun, pulled islands out of the sea, battled monsters. And I should know, because I'm Maui. Hey, let me do this, please. Ah, Nothing? Really? What's a demigod gotta do? Uh. Oh, well, well. We are explorers reading every sign. We tell the stories of our elders in a never ending chain. Oh, well, well. We know the way. mission with some kid. You'd be a hero. That's what you're all about, right? Maui, Maui, Maui. You're so amazing. Oh, well, We've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. Ever defeat a lava monster? No. Have you? <clears throat> okay, talk to the back. Oh, well, it's Maui time! The ocean chose me for a reason. Come on! the shot. For generations, this peaceful island has been home to our family. But beyond our reef, a great danger is coming. Legend tells of a hero who will journey to find the demigod Maui. And together, they will save us all. of the wind and sea, I am Hero a... of men. Wh what? It's actually Maui shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, hero of men. I interrupted from the top, hero of men. Go. I'm not going on a mission with some little girl. This is my canoe, and you will journey to different... Did not see that coming. The ocean is a friend of mine. First, we've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. <gasps> Kakamora. Kako, what? They're kind of cute. Ooh, I got your back. 
It's Maui time! Really? Blow dart in my butt cheek. We're going to the realm of monsters? Don't worry, it's a lot farther down than it looks. Diz que um herói terá que navegar para encontrar o semideus Maui. E juntos salvar todos nós. Maui? Transmorto? Semideus da água e do ar? Eu sou Herói do de... mundo. Quê? Eu gosto de Maui, transmorfo, semideus da água e do ar. Herói do mundo. Tenta mais uma vez. Vamos lá. Herói do mundo. Valeu. Eu sou Moana de Motunui. Vou navegar pelo oceano e salvar a minha ilha. Preciso de ajuda. Ah, uh, não. Tô fora. Isso que é surpresa. Antes, você tem que viajar por todo esse mar. Você tá pronta pra enfrentar o monstro? Sim, senhor. <risos> Que são lindos cocos. Sério, me acertou na bochechinha. I'm glad you came. Vamos salvar todo mundo. Fala em mim, escolhida. I'm glad you came. Moana, um mar de aventuras. Coquinhos. Cinco de janeiro nos cinemas. In the beginning, there was only ocean. Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, let's save the world. I'm not going on a mission with some kid. You'd be a hero. That's what you're all about, right? We've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. Ever defeat a lava monster? No. Have you? <clears throat> okay, talk to the back. It's Maui time! The ocean chose me for a reason. Come on! the shot. Let's save the world. We gotta go through a whole ocean of bad pirates. From the creators of Frozen and Zootropolis. <gasps> Sorry. I thought you were a monster. Disney's Moana in cinemas December 2nd. In the beginning, there was only ocean. Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, let's save the world. I'm not going on a mission with some kid. You'd be a hero. That's what you're all about, right? Maui, 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 you're so amazing. We've got to go through a whole ocean of bad. Ever defeat a lava monster? No. Have you? <clears throat> okay, talk to the back. It's Maui time! The ocean chose me for a reason. Come on! This December, Maui, let's save the 
world. Deal? The ocean is a friend of mine. Worth a shot. Oh, good. Pirates. They're kind of cute. Come on! Dwayne Johnson is Maui. Obvious choice. Auli'i Gravalio is Moana. I am self-taught. All right, we gotta move. I got your back, chosen one. Yeah! Disney's Moana in cinemas December 2nd. Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, let's save the world. I'm not going on a mission with some kid. You'd be a hero. Maui, you're so amazing. Kakamora. Kaka, what? They're kind of cute. The ocean chose me for a reason. Come on! Disney's Moana in cinemas December 2nd. Maui, shapeshifter, let's save the world. Did not see that coming. The ocean is a friend of mine. This December. Come on! I got your back, chosen one. From the creators of Frozen and Zootropolis. I could watch that all day. Dwayne Johnson is Maui. Pirates. Auli'i Gravalio is Moana. I just did that. Disney's Moana in cinemas December 2nd. It's time to put my stone on the mountain. Okay. Well, then head on back. Put that stone up there. Why aren't you trying to talk me out of it? You said that's what you wanted. It is. When I die, I'm going to come back as one of these. Or I chose the wrong tattoo. Why are you acting weird? I'm the village crazy lady. That's my job. If there's something you want to tell me, just tell me. Is there something you want to tell me? Is there something you want to hear? <clears throat> hmm? Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, I am Moana Hero of, of Men. Mo what? It's actually Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea, Hero of Men. I interrupted from the top, Hero of Men. Go. Uh, I am Sorry, Mo sorry, sorry, sorry. And women. Men and women. Both. All. Not a guy-girl thing. I, you know, Maui is a hero to all. You're doing great. What? No. I'm here to- oh, of course, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Now he always has time for his fans. Mm -hmm. When you use a bird to write with, it's called tweeting. <laughs> I know, not every day you get a chance to meet your hero. You are not my hero, and I'm not here so you can sign my oar. What has two thumbs and pulled up the sky? When you were waddling, yay, hide this guy. When the nights got cold, who stole you fire from down below? You're <laughs> looking at him, yo. Oh, also I lasso the sun. You're welcome to stretch your days and bring you fun. Also I harness the breeze. You're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees. So what can I say except you're welcome? For the islands I pull from the sea There's no need to pray, it's okay You're welcome, ha! I guess it's just my way of being me You're welcome, you're welcome Enjoy the island, Maui, out! No, stop! Hey, you have to put back the heart! Did not see that coming. I am Moana of Motunui. This is my canoe, and you will journey to death. All right, get over it. We gotta move. And she's back. I am Moana of Motunui. 
It was Moana, right? Yes, and you will restore the heart. All right, I'm out. Oh, come on! We read the wind and the sky when the sun is high. We sail the length of the seas on the ocean breeze. At night we name every star. We know where we are. We know who we are. I am Moana. When I first heard that there was going to be an audition to potentially play the role of Moana, I thought, no way, that can be me. Ali'i was the very last girl that I saw on my last day of casting. Weeks went by and we got this email and it's for Moana. <gasps> We're gonna go in for the official audition. And I had a whole bunch of fun. Then I got a call back. I was told that I would have to do more ad lib. This is beautiful. That's good, um, but I don't know, is there a way you could be happier still? They tricked me. They were like, well, actually, maybe you could play it more like we're telling you that we're offering you the role. Imagine we gave you the part to Moana. And react as you would if you heard that news. And they made her do a couple more things. And then she actually received the news that she was Moana. We're here, collectively, so Jamie here, and oh, it's not, and Ron, yeah. too. We're not, we're not pretending. Not pretending now. We want you to be the voice of Moana in our movie. We really do. We really do. Thank you so much. You are going to be Moana. Thank you. And then I get a call at work. Um, yeah, I got cast as Moana. <laughs> and then it was just. We look at it, it's, it's just such a blessing. Oh my God, mwah, mwah. <laughs> And just what we call, oh no, the moment, and just mm, savor it. Yeah, it's real. It's real, it really happened. Yes, Ali, you're Moana. The music is pretty unique in the movie. It's so rich. It's such an incredible rhythmic culture, an incredible choral culture. It always starts with the rhythm of, of this culture and building outwards from that. Ali did such a tremendous job. She's a star, and I can't wait for the world to see her. How Far I'll Go is really a fight song. The ocean and that line across the horizon, no one knows what's beyond that, and she's determined to find out. She feels like she belongs out on the water. no telling how far I'll go. 
We Know the Way was the first song we all wrote together for the movie. Opataya brought in the melody and the lyrics in his native language. We Know the Way is very simple. We know the ways of the sea via the skies, the currents. All those words are in there, although most English-speaking people wouldn't understand. But with Lynn coming in with those beautiful words, it just married the whole thing together. I have fallen in love with your vocal on the song, and we would like to keep it. What? Ooh. Yes! Yeah! Oh, my God! Hey, that's a huge honor. Thank you so much. Opataya, everything that comes out of him feels like this world that's so rich. So we always sort of started with him and the music he was creating, and then we'd build from there. With Disney's Moana, we're showcasing the Pacific Islands on screen in a really fantastic way. It's really amazing how deeply Moana is rooted in Polynesian culture. We knew it was very important to go visit these places, and so we went to the Pacific Islands to talk to experts. It's really amazing that Disney recognizes the value of working with communities, people in various islands, to help craft the story. We went to Tahiti and Morea, Samoa and Fiji, getting a deeper sense of the traditions that built the islands and themselves. We were telling the stories of our ancestors, who were the best navigators the world has ever seen. The Polynesians were such a seafaring nation. If you'd retrace our ancestral highways on the Pacific Ocean, you could see the vast area that the Polynesians could travel. We went to Fiji, and Mata, the archaeologist, took us around and showed us Fijian vessels that they sailed across the Pacific on, that ultimately we got to sail on with Angel, who's a Fijian navigator. We have so much respect for nature, and nature starts from the ocean. It's the ocean that gives life to the land. Never forget that the ocean is always there. We learned how important the ocean is, and that's where the idea came to make the ocean a character in the movie. These filmmakers fell in love with the relationship with the sea and this incredible heritage of wayfinding. Writing music for the movie with Opataya and Mark Mancina, we drew upon the Pacific Islands' rich musical culture. The diversity of music in this part of the world formed what I think makes a great score. The team have done such a terrific job collaborating with people from all over the Pacific to come up with this fantastical tale. It's spectacular. I love the fact that our history is being celebrated, our traditions are being showcased. We know who we are, who we are. As a Hawaiian, I am so proud to be working on this film. This is the opportunity to show my culture to the world. I really think they made something special. We know the way. I got to tell you, it has been incredible working on Disney's Moana. I mean, everyone's been great. I, look, I even had a brand new co-star this time around, someone I never really worked with before, and it was, um, it was quite the experience. Let me tell you, water can be pretty sensitive. Show business. Try directing water. You just had to say something, didn't you? I mean, I grew up around water, so I felt right at home acting alongside it. Hi, bye, water. We're working on that one. All right, everyone, Talon is on their way to set. <clears throat> Me and water, we've got um, an understanding now. <laughs> See? Uh, hey, buddy. Need a towel? Hey, somebody get Lynn a towel. <laughs> the things you do for show business. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. You're yeah. welcome. Perks of the... You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>
Here we go. One, two, three, and... Open your eyes, let's begin. I knew I was writing a song for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I just thought, what would be like the most fun thing to hear The Rock sing? And it's, you're welcome. And he really sings it beautifully. What can I say except you're welcome? When Maui sings, I mean, the room stops. What's the lesson? What is the takeaway? Don't mess with Maui when he's on a breakaway. He went at it with everything he had. It's a map of the victories I win. Maui's got a tremendous voice. I got a little bit of that. Well, anyway, let me say welcome. And thank you. Manuel Miranda, we first met with him in New York. He was working on a hip hop rap musical. Little did we know, uh, it was actually uh, a year after that when Hamilton took the world by storm. Lynn was the third member of our musical team to join the movie. I feel really lucky that I grew up during this incredible run of Disney animated movie musicals. Ron and John are some of our greatest animators, so to get to work with them has really been a dream come true. Lynn just brought such enthusiasm and intelligence. He was so witty and he had that heart. Can I say we got lucky? <laughs> oh man, Lin Manuel Miranda. I mean, Lin Manuel Miranda, the man. I am so excited to be working with a big fan. No, you know that. I am excited to be working with you. I have been a fan since forever. Can you smell what you are <laughs> cooking? I have your alarm clock app on my phone. It makes every morning sweeter and scarier. Dude, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You know, and I gotta tell you, lately all I've been listening to, Hamilton. <laughs> I appreciate that, but I've got you beat. I carry a picture of you everywhere in my wallet. Wow, that's love, man. But I gotta tell you, I think I've gotten you beat because I carry a picture of you on my phone. <laughs> you're the best, man. Uh, no, you're the best. No, you're actually the platonic ideal of the best. Love? Love. All right. Safe to say, we're both very excited to be working with each other on Disney's Moana. Absolutely. Yes. I am a little more excited. He is the best. <laughs> Get ready to meet Minnie Maui. Hey, let me do this, please. This is no ordinary tattoo. Minnie Maui's kind of like Maui's voice of reason, motivating him to do the right thing. <laughs> okay, talk to the back. You know, I wonder what life would be like if I had a mini Dwayne. Come on, Dwayne! What's taking you so long? You gotta get out of bed! Let's get after it! It's me, you, it's go time! Come on! Okay, that's a little bit too much. All right, let's get a move on. You gotta go, and you gotta say, what's up, world? What? <sighs> I went to Julia. Tell us about your character. I play a giant magical hermit crab called Tamatoa. He loves shiny things. Trinkets, goblets, gold, gems. His obsession has driven him to madness. What have we here? He's kind of a real collector of things. You know, he's one of those, um, this is a real stretch for me, as far as acting is concerned. Now, you actually got to work with superstar Dwayne um, Johnson. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Um, can I have, can I have one of those cookies there? Thanks. Oh, great. There's this Stop. really great scene between you two. Um, between, between, um, so. Okay. Okay. Dwayne Johnson. Mm. Um, yeah, I was saying, so, what's the next question? What's it like? Does anyone have a um, pen? Because I've lost that other pen. What's it like working for Disney? They're very generous. Like, uh, they just give me gifts all the time, like this massive fruit basket. Oh. Spelled my name wrong. Disney's Moana, Rated PG. <laughs> Moana is about, um, Moana's about, first and foremost, Moana is about, uh, about a teenage girl who is ambitious and who has a point of view and is motivated to go beyond the reef as 
we say in our Polynesian culture, and as they say in the movie, and 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 in along her journey, uh, she wants to, in essence, save her culture, and um, along her journey, she meets the demigod Maui, who I play, I had the privilege of playing, and. Um, and they go on this amazing adventure, and they, they're this two odd couple, and they are at sea, and I think we really made something special. And you never, never, you never know, you never know how any movie is going to turn out, you know. And you, they're always well intended, and you want it to do great. But with this one, I had a feeling early that at least we had a shot at really creating something special and something unique, because you have the greatest storytellers in the world. This is my third project with Disney. I've done two movies in the past. The game plan and Race to Witch Mountain, and this. Uh, and with the greatest storytellers in the world, especially with Disney Animation, and with Pixar, right? They're just really great storytellers. We have that, we have the, 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 the element of music, the element of showcasing a culture that's very rich. Um, there were a lot of elements involved, so I think we made a good one. Maui is a demigod, he's a shapeshifter, uh, he is a jokester. He um, has a tremendous ego. Uh, he also has a heart that is as big as his body. And he is, um, he, he was one of the most fun characters I really have, I've, I've ever, ever played. And he sings, he raps, he thinks a lot of himself. Not too far off from myself. Well, uh, he's, he's also a, a wayfinder, and he knows the seas, and he knows how to navigate the seas. And he also has something. He was responsible for taking something that was not his. And she needs him to help her navigate to where she has to go without giving the movie away. But then also um, make sure that he returns the thing that he took and writes the wrong that he is guilty of. I think it's relatable because we all kind of go through that. So these characters are searching for their identity. Ma Maui has lost his identity. He lost his magic fish hook and he feels like his fish hook is his, is his, is his power. Um, but without it, he feels like he's Superman with kryptonite, like he has no power. She's searching for her, her identity too as well, like so many teenagers out there as we all go through, as we all go through period, even as adults. So I think the, the, the relatable aspect of searching for one's identity is something that plays out throughout the movie and I think is, is a really cool and important subject. It was, it was a blast. Yeah, I recorded the song with Lynn manuel Miranda, who wrote the song for me. He came down uh, from... Lynn has this little play uh, called uh, Hamilton. You might have heard of it. In the middle of him shooting this play, um, he, uh, he came down to Florida, and I really appreciate it. And he helped me with it. He conducted me through it, and, uh, and I really had a blast. Uh, I wanted to play Maui because um, it was just, it was, number one, I felt like I would have a good time and I would enjoy it. Number two, uh, I felt like uh, audiences would enjoy seeing me in this role, in this, in this capacity. And, <clears throat> and the most important reason was it was just, a, it, was an, it was a hell of an opportunity to uh, showcase Polynesian culture, tell a great story, fun characters, and introduce them to the world. It's the number one thing that I think about, whether it's a movie I do, whether it's a movie or a TV show that I produce, which is, is the audience going to like it? That's the bottom line. Is the audience going to like it? I try not to get too over-intellectualized about it. And then what's the, well, the subplot, and the this, and the that, and the, eh, are they going to like it? And I think that they're really going to like this movie. I think, you know, there's so many elements that make Moana so special. I mean, think about it. There's the, 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 when, when there's a magical element of, of Disney storytelling that's always special because ultimately the, the characters learn a lesson and there's great takeaway. So whether it's, it's, uh, it, whether it's Moana, Frozen, Zootopia, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, there's always great lessons, right? Lion King that we could just pull from, which is great. So there's that element that makes Moana special. The musical element makes Moana special. 
there's one thing that really makes Moana, like, here's all the other ones from Disney, the classics, makes Moana do this, and it's me. It's me in the movie. Moana is about a young woman, uh, daughter of uh, the chief of her island, um, who uh, embarks on a journey to save her family, to save her island, to save the world. Uh, she does it with the help of a demigod named Maui, and, uh, but it's her story, and uh, she's one of the most incredible characters I've ever seen. My favorite types of movies are action movies and musicals, and I think this movie splits the difference exactly. Um, it's a perfect hybrid. I think that, um, I think that um, the music of, of the Pacific Islands is so unique and such a part of their rich cultural legacy uh, that uh, it was an opportunity. It's an opportunity to uh, reflect um, a part of the world that doesn't see themselves on screen very often and the sound of that is integral to it. Um, so, you know, we, we, we felt an enormous responsibility uh, in the best way uh, to, to, to reflect this culture we've fallen in love with uh, uh, on screen. Well, the first time I met Ron and John, I said to them, you're the reason I'm in this room. Uh, you know, Sebastian the Crab started singing Under the Sea, and I have not been the same since. Um, and so that's been a thrill. You know, it's uh, what I bring to the table, uh, besides writing music and lyrics, is this love for the animated musical form. I, I was lucky enough to grow up in that golden run of Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King. Um, it, it was that's that's that was my those were my peak uh, years. It was like they came along right when I was ready for them. So I'm I'm thrilled to to add to the legacy. We always sort of start with the rhythms of the islands. Uh, you know, Opataya, Mark and I would just jam. We'd get on drums and we'd get on guitar and piano. Uh, and when it felt like Opatai was like, yeah, this is it. This sounds like us. This sounds like our people. That's when the writing began. And um, that was a wonderful way to start because um, we really felt like um, we could be accurate and, and honor um, this part of the world that sounds like this part of the world. And so um, that was really fun. Um, and then there's also lots of places where we sort of branch off. Um, you know, when I heard Jermaine Clement was going to play Tamatoa the Crab, I said, oh, boy, is this an opportunity. Um, I'm a huge Flight of the Concords fan um, and particularly a fan of their David Bowie homage. Uh, so I was like, I've got a jewel-encrusted crab at the bottom of the sea. We're going full glam rock for this. Um, and I got to, you know, you know, indulge all my glam rock, Iggy Pop, Lou Reed, David Bowie fantasies uh, in a Disney movie. Yeah, you know, for me, uh, the song We Know The Way is the best representation of our collaboration on the music team. Um, Opataya wrote the music and the lyrics in Tokelauan. Um, I came up with a counter melody and I wrote the English lyrics. Mark uh, is at the piano while we're all writing and creating alternate chords and voicings and harmonies. Uh, and it just happened so organically and it happened the first weekend we got together. Um, so to me, that's the most emblematic of, of the spirit of collaboration of this film. Um, I'd be lying if I didn't say my father is singing your welcome all the time. It's a perfect suit to his personality in particular, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's catchy. It's, and, uh, and, and sort of really, you know, I really tailored made that for The Rock and, uh, and you know, Dwayne Johnson is such a, he's such a larger than life character and so he really brings the song home. I think what's most thrilling about this story is that it, you can say it's about a lot of things, but really what it's about is it's about listening to that voice inside you that is represents your truest self. You know, Moana has a happy life on this island, and yet, and yet there's this voice inside that says, you, you're not meant to be here, you're meant to be out there. And um, I think one of the hardest things we have to do as people is to listen to that voice, even if it says the opposite of what we're going through or where we are. And, uh, and, and honoring that uh, is, is, you know, it's, it's, it's how we, we grow up and, and get better. Welcome. Welcome to the premiere of Moana, you guys. It is amazing. It's so exciting. It's also very epic. It's all the things that we had really hoped it to be. This is the first time I'm going to see it with a big audience. I'm really looking forward to it. And we're very, very proud of our Lehi. And we're very, very uh, proud of the story of that brave young woman. You work on these movies for years. This is unbelievable. There are so many wonderful people here. So to be at opening night is a dream come true.
I think now more than ever, it's wonderful to see a story about a young woman who is a hero, who saves her family, saves her island, and saves the world. I was really blessed to be part of this film. The journey that Moana goes on, I think that's something that everyone can connect to. Okay, maybe not her journey across hundreds of miles of ocean. That might be a little bit of a stretch. The character of Moana, the incredible character who's made up of so much courage and yet compassion and empathy. She's a, a female heroine like we've never had before. Auli'i was destined to play Moana and her performance speaks for itself. I'm so excited for everyone to see her on screen because she truly is beautiful inside and out. She's the heroine of her own story and I think everyone can connect to that. We have a demigod in the movie Maui. He's a culture figure of the Pacific Islands. The only person who could play a demigod is a demigod. That's why we hired Dwayne. He has Samoan roots, which he was very proud of and he got to celebrate with this part. I am most excited for audiences to discover the singing. The music in this thing is amazing. Lynn's lyrics just blow me away. Mark Mancina's score takes it to new heights. And Opataya, I love his Polynesian influences. I think it makes the music so much closer to home for me. You no, know, it takes a village to build a movie like this. And the music part of the village was such a joyous collaboration. Hey, what can I say except you're welcome for the wonderful world you know. It's so cool to look around and see everybody wearing like plumerias and Queen at Lays, and it's so special. We're bringing like a bit of the Polynesian Islands to Hollywood Boulevard. They really collaborated with a lot of different cultures around the Pacific, and I think they've done a really fantastic job. There are things in this movie people have never seen before. A lot of people like the movie so far, so I think a lot of people around the world are going to enjoy it. I got your back. It's Maui time. Blow dart in my butt cheek.